Hey, good evening, this is Kevin Bees, and I wanna welcome you to tip number 20 of the uh, life-changing business tips. And I wanna take a slightly different tangent today. For the last few days, I've been saying it's not what you know, it's who you know. Now, I was thinking about this today, and I just wanna we'll take on a different tangent because I actually wanna say it's not even who you know, it's who knows you. Right, and there's a slight distinction there. I wanna share a couple of examples around this today, but who knows you can actually be even more powerful than who you know. Potentially people can know you without you knowing them and they can generate uh, opportunity and work for you without you, uh, without you even knowing them. And, uh, and the, the best way for me to explain this is with, with, of course, a couple of examples. And the theme of this, of course, the, the reason why you want to be more known by other people, of course, is more opportunity, more uh, income, Hey, maybe even more, uh, more connection, more contribution. Now, let's share these. Let's dive in with these two examples. The first example I want to talk to you about was um, uh, a wonderful lady I had the privilege of interviewing uh, last year, maybe even the year before. And you may know her from the Rich Dad Poor Dad series. She was the co-author of uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad with Robert Kiyosaki. Now they've sold over, I think, twenty or thirty million, thirty million books. Uh, since last reading and uh, Sharon Lecter is a presidential advisor now. Now what was interesting for me in the interview was a couple of different pieces on this. She became presidential advisor because people knew who she was. They knew that she was the expert in financial literacy. Okay, she's made her uh, point in her career about being known for this thing. She's very clear on her brand and who she is and what she's about and her whole mission and purpose is about helping people and, and particularly uh, families and uh, younger people to understand uh, and even women these days to understand their financial literacy and to generate uh, more wealth for themselves. Now she's very well known for that and that's uh, given her the opportunity to become pre presidential advisor and I believe now for, for two different presidents. Now. There's another piece in this, uh, particularly around Sharon Lecter, that, uh, that I wanted to share with you. She very kindly shared a strategy that she used to help stay known, to help um, continue to be known. And it's a, a nurturing strategy, nurturing, if I can say the word, it's a nurturing strategy. It's so important that we nurture our connections so that they know who we are and, and they, they remain connected to us. Now, one of the tips that she had, and this is something that she does every single day before she leaves the office, she says she doesn't leave the office until she's done the two 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 strategy now the two 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 strategy is that she takes the opportunity to connect with two people via text message to send them uh, something of value or to uh, connect with them and see how they are two people by uh, social media two people uh, i think it was even by email and I think she actually said two people by fax. Now, so I, I don't know if that's feasible for many of us. I don't think we have the fax machine anymore, but this is how long she's been doing it. So we can change it to the two, two, two strategy. But the idea is that we don't leave the office uh, or, or our work environment until we've made that contact to nurture some of those connections and check in, see how they are and build the relationship. So uh, that's a two, two, two strategy. And the, the other example I wanted to share with you then, I, I was thinking about, I, I've traveled today, you can see I'm in a different environment today. I'm, uh, I'm here at my, my family home with my parents in the UK. And I traveled today through the airport. And uh, it, it reminded me of um, a situation with Kevin Harrington. Now, Kevin Harrington, if you don't know him, he was uh, an original shark on the show uh, Shark Tank. In, in the USA. Now, I was traveling from uh, Zurich to Tel Aviv. We'd both presented uh, at the, the Zurich event, and then we were traveling, and uh, we were then presenting at Tel Aviv event in Israel. And as we were walking through the airport, we had a conversation, and uh, a couple of things he said that I want to share with you. One was uh, around this very, very point, which I think it re relates to this message, is not who you know is who knows you. He was talking about his success. He's had uh, amazing success. You may know him from on As Seen on TV. He's created a lot of the, uh, the infomercial market. Uh, very successful guy. I think if you check out his network, probably even in the region of half a billion, right? So he's very successful guy. And he was sharing about how he came became to come on that show. Now, he was known for his skills and ability with products and launching products into the market. But 
even though he'd had financial success, he was still wanting to put his message out there and serve other people. So he had a podcast, he had books. Now it's because of those podcasts and books, the producers of that show were able to pick him out to be an original shark. If he wasn't out there putting himself out there in that way, even though he was financially successful, he may not have been chosen to be the person because there wasn't the awareness of, of who he was. His books, his podcast helped other people know who he was. And that, that's what actually allowed him to uh, to get that great opportunity. Now, what's even more interesting about that then is is how he leverages that now. The, the success or the fame that's come from being on a show and having even more people know who he is, that brings in a continual stream of opportunities and deals. So whereas in the past, he may have had to go out there and search for, for all of these deals. He now has so many deals coming to him that he and his team can take their time to sort through them and work out which deals are going to be the best. So the real value uh, in this is about who knows you. The bigger your profile, the more people who know who you are, the more opportunities that are coming your way. Now, we can all get the opportunity to go and present on a, a national or even international television show. But what are the things that we can do to be more known? Can you be doing something like this to serve your audience? Can you, um, can you, can you go out there and start providing value through a Facebook Live or Instagram TV? Can you be writing blog posts? Can you be writing for some large magazines? Can you even be putting out some um, some um, I know some uh, Instagram posts, some you know uh, LinkedIn articles. Uh, in, even outside of the world of social media, can you even be getting more known by in your local community going to present or talk to people? So uh, I think I'm, I've downloaded quite a lot here today. Maybe it should have been two episodes. But uh, the key piece is, is for today is not who you know, it's who knows you. And so what can you do around that? The two key tips come from say one is nurture the people that you've met and connected with already. Use Sharon Lecter's uh, awesome 222 strategy to stay connected with people so that they know who you are. And the second part of this then is how can you today or tomorrow or even this week put something out of value that helps raise your profile, that helps more people know who you are, people who didn't know who you were before? Because the more people who know you are, then the more opportunity that comes your way. And I, I think I mentioned in a couple of episodes, the opportunity that I have now, the opportunity that led me to be uh, presenting on the same stages as Kevin Harrington, that came about to me because someone else knew who I was uh, and then were able to contact me for, for my, uh, my ability to, uh, to help in the area that I help in, which is helping business owners to grow. And so then they were able to contact me and invite me along. So it's, it's, about, it's not about who you know, it's about who knows you. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Have yourself a really great evening and I'll be back tomorrow with episode 21. And I still have more to share on this area. It's such an important area and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. Have a great evening.